पहले तो मैं परमेश्वर का धन्यवाद करता हूं ये हमारे लिए सौभाग्य की बात है कि यहां ग्लोबल स्मार्ट सिटीज की कॉन्क्लेव में एक बहुत छोटा सा राज्य जो उत्तर पूर्व से है हमें भी मौजूद होने के लिए यहाँ सौभाग्य मिला टाइम्स ग्रुप को भी और द इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स को धन्यवाद कहना चाहता हूँ और संबोधित भी करता हूँ कि इस तरह का कार्यक्रम आपने इस महानगर में रखा और यहाँ की उज्जवल भारत की उज्जवल लोगों के साथ मुलाकात होने का हमें मौका दिया आई वॉज गोइंग टू से माई मोस्ट ऑनरेबल एंड रिस्पेक्टेड मिनिस्टर फ्रॉम मध्य प्रदेश मिस्टर सिंह जी ही रिप्रेजेंटेड थर्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द अर्बन सिटीज एंड द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ दिस कंट्री and he is smart articulate educated and an awesome leader and i want you to know that i represent 61% of the non smart cities but very smart from the rural parts of this country from the tribal parts of this country and i am also proud to see the global smart cities growing in this country words cannot be expressed fully well if we do not thank the visionary leadership of shri narendra modi ji our prime minister of this country who had the vision and the goal for this great nation by conceptualizing 100 smart cities for this country in its fast track leadership to be achieved as a global leader in every sense for this nation hum pehle to economic times ki hamare dost manish ji ko bahut dhanyawad karna chahta hu ki unhone hame yahan bula ke smart city कैसा होना चाहिए और यहाँ अवार्डीज इतने लोगों को संबोधित करते हुए देख के अलग अलग कैटेगरियों में हम बहुत खुश हो गया इसमें बहुत सारे बातें हैं और आज हमारे ख्याल से सुबह से लेके आप लोगों का कार्यक्रम चल रहे हैं और शाम की इस क्षमा में हम आप लोगों को एक सोच विचार के साथ छोड़ना चाहता हूँ हमारे देश सिर्फ बड़े बड़े शहरों का देश नहीं है हमारे देश बहुत छोटा छोटे गाँवों का अलग अलग जनजातियों का अलग अलग बिरादरियों का देश है भारत जो देश है महान उसी समय होगा जब हमारे पूरा देश उन्नति और उज्जवल भारत के भाग्य हो सकते हैं वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द स्मार्ट सिटीज with smart flyovers digitalization and also with the smartest amenities of infrastructure traffic roadways lighting and the most advanced formulas and technologies that are being adopted today in our country i am glad as a young man of this country a young nation with a young population and an upcoming leaders of this country comprises of young people but in this august company of all of you i would like you to remember also the urban poor also the urban poor that drives the urban smart cities i don't know how you will do it or how we will do it but i want you to know as we build greater cities 
smarter cities with healthcare, with technology, with better roads, dust-free roads, and with environment-friendly environments. We also have to know that it is not affordable for every citizen of this country to be smart, and it is not affordable for every citizen of this country to come to smart global cities and live there. Now, I was just hearing in the introduction from the leader of the Times Group, from 39% we need to go to 50% or even more. And I am also part of that. I am also part of that growing smart city for this nation. But how do we bring it about? I have a few suggestions. And those suggestions are like this. Bahut baar, hum log apne baare mein bhul ja ke, apne bharatiya hone ka, apna sanskriti, apna vichar dhara ko bhul ke, hum log westernize systems ko laate hai. Why don't we create smart cities with Indian way of life, with Bharatiya way of life, with the diverse way of life? We are so fast-paced, trying to become like London, trying to become like New York, or Tokyo, or any other. May you, the global leaders, and also the great leaders of this smart city projects that are being implemented today bring about a Indianness to everything that you do. Sometimes we are worried that the basic sense of our cities are being lost to westernization also. We are not against westernization, but Western world has got a lot to learn from our country called Bharat. And we should be the forerunners and at the forefront of this nation while we do so, making and creating examples for the rest of the world to follow. Our country in its diverseness, I pray that very soon, the Economic Times, the Times Group, will launch smart villages, smart global villages in this country. I tell you the truth. When you look, example, I come from a small state like Nagaland. Every village in itself is a smart city potential, not by population, but by the way of living, by the thought process to live. While you make smart cities, we pray that technology and the smartness also reaches into the most deprived parts of this country and into the system which empowers the smart city that is our rural areas also. My dear friends and leaders, if we bring all the villages to the city. Today morning, I was just speaking with my Honorable Minister for Tribal Affairs, Sri Arjun Mundaji. He was saying that we have heard that we have air conditioning. So, what do we do? We have heard that we have heard that we have heard that we have heard AC के पीछे जाके जो मशीन लगा हुआ है उसके पीछे जाके खड़ा होके देखिए मतलब ठंडी सबको पसंद है 20 डिग्री में बैठना बहुत पसंद है 18 डिग्री में बैठना बहुत मजा आता है मगर जो पिछवारा में जो है डोंट माइंड द लैंग्वेज इन द बैक साइड इतना गर्मी देता है नॉर्मल जो एनवायरनमेंट है उससे ज्यादा गर्मी देते हैं Global warming is happening. What I mean to say is, while building smart cities, 
Do not forget the backside of the smart cities. You shouldn't kill the other areas of this great country while building your smart city, your comfort city, my comfort city, my smart city. We have to concentrate very much on technology that is sustainable and environment friendly. I congratulate all those barons who have received those awards today. May you be able to inspire consistently and persistently the people of this great nation towards a progressive environment where you build your smart cities that will incorporate the health and the welfare of the whole country. I also want to draw your attention to make sure that as you plan and emphasize to make these great and smart cities, do not forget the rural areas, do not forget the villages, the small towns, and the enterprising people that are there in the rest of the country. Tonight, I will not be doing justice if I congratulate only all of you, but forget to build a robust country, to build a robust Bharat, to build a robust India without building robust, smart villages and talukas and jilas. By doing so only, we will have a progressive nation. So, when we come on a forum like this, smart city, when we talk about it, it is a project of 1,000 crore, 1,500 crore, 2,000 crores. And when we talk about the barons of this empire, talking about a village that has only 200 houses or 500 households to make it smart, people are not much interested. Because there is मगर सच बोलने में कुछ नहीं जाता है और बोल के सबको बोलना वो आप लोगों का विचारधारा और सोच विचार में रखना हमारा कर्तव्य है the small villages the small towns that may not be as smart as the great cities that are coming up today should also be smart i'm telling you the truth Example, I would like to say this way. In Nagaland, we, have, we are a very small state. We have not more than 20 lakh population, that is 2 million. And Delhi's maybe one colony will be 15-20 lakh ka abadi hoga. I'm telling you, it is very difficult to come up to that level of thought process. We are glad to this government, led by our Honorable Prime Minister, that he gave even to our one of our towns, like Kohima, an ancient village, an ancient town, to be part of a smart city. We are trying our best. The government there, we are in a gadbandan, led by our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Nifurio. We are getting better roads now, we are getting better electricity, and we are building. And I also, as the Minister for Higher Education, we are soon going to launch digitalization of all the colleges in Nagaland with digital apparatus of smart classes, smart classrooms, you know, smart attendance systems, and also smart libraries and digital libraries. Your endeavor has affected each and every one of us very much. My dear friends, we have a robust population that is growing. Our state, we are trying our best to grow in population. Our state is small and most of our northeastern states are deprived. We are not backward, we are just deprived. Do come in to our cities which are small, do come in to our villages and towns and give us your ideas, 
your plans. We want to build a robust state and a robust state to be empowering this whole country. Lastly, I just want to tell a small thing. You know, I was in a program in a town in a jilla called Zanaboto for the students meet. My honorable chief minister asked me to come there. So I went by chopper with him because you know, the road can take us approximately seven to eight hours to reach there from the Kohima capital, but by chopper it took only around 20 minutes. So to come back, the chopper had some technical snack, so we couldn't come. So we were coming by road halfway. While coming by road, my honorable chief minister was looking at the huge hill locks, huge mountains and small, small villages were there on top of the mountains. We are always going to the Now, the whole population is driving towards Dimapur, towards Kohima, towards Mogokchung, to those towns and city that is uprising. And my honorable chief minister was saying, Imna, Look at these huge mountains and these villages. People are no more living there. Log waha hai ni abhi. Abadi nahi hai. To wo tipani ek baaton ko diya. Asam ke jo mukhi mantri hai. Apna sonwal ji. Kuch din pehle kuch baate charche mein thay ki do se jada abadi hoga to nokri nahi daega ya kuch na kuch baaton ko akbar mein nikla tha. To ham apne mukhi mantri ko bola Sir, we are a PDA government, a government of BJP and NDPP. We have said seriously in their face, we have said one thing. Sir, PDA government is an announcement. We are not a population in the government. We are not a city and a city of smart city and big cities. We are not a population in the government. We are announcing this. Honestly, it was not a joke. I told him, Sir, पांच से ज़्यादा जो बच्चे पैदा करेंगे, उनको एक-एक नौकरी देते करके अनाउंस करते हैं। See, and you know, he just turned his head in the car. He looked towards me and said, "Imna, आपका तो शादी भी नहीं हुआ, और पांच बच्चे पैदा करने के बात कर रहे हैं आप." My dear friends, I like to conclude this way. Let it be inclusive. Let your programs be inclusive. We are happy for the growing cities of this country. Let it be global in every way, but not lose our traditional touch, not lose our heritage. I always say to all of my friends, we want development, we want prosperity, we want employment, we want to live in the best, but we will not give up our traditional and cultural heritage of my people and of this great nation called Bharat. So let us all build robust cities in the lines of our country. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you.